Hey kids, Inverted Cow here and welcome back to Imperion Iron Man. Take two. I am still undead, level 16, 30 kills. <clears throat> As we had died on the last attempt, I restarted. This is now an unofficial part of the Iron Man. I am officially out of the competition, but I just had so much fun I had to see if I could actually do it. So, I'm still a week behind in catching up with everybody and I need to get down to some work. Now, <clears throat> I have been grinding away for a little bit, uh, actually a lot, off camera. I have gone to the crashed Titan parts. I believe this one and this one and have removed completely obliterated both of these they've completely mined them out I've also mined out completely a couple of promethium deposits and I believe one copper deposit and one silicone deposit completely eradicated them because I didn't want them uh, I've left this titan part here uh, because it's next to the comm center I will go and deal with that later um, and this village has also been pillaged and destroyed. Well, not destroyed. Actually, I was farming that village for a while there, uh, a while ago. But, as you can see, the old hover vessel here has taken a few prangs and dings. I've lost a few pieces of armor, plating, and minor other stuff. Again, i to turn my light on. It's daytime, i got to turn my light on weather in this planet sucks. Um, so that's how it is. Uh, I put the big bulk drills on for dealing with some of the uh, hover or some of the crash titan work that I was doing. I haven't done any other arming on this thing other than that. But actually uh, let's jump out of this. Jump. Oh god. I out of the Elyon, fix your damn game. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I have been building uh, capital vessel parts, or small vessel parts. Um, I placed the core down already just to make sure it was going to sit where I wanted it to. And I've got all the parts I need, or at least most of the parts I need to build a reasonably good small vessel. So I want to start over on that. And all I'm basically going to do is I'm going to pause my recording or pause my sound and I might do a speed build or I might just cut and return because uh, you know me and build videos. Uh, we don't get along very well. So we're going to bring up F6. bouncing and jump out. <clears throat> I build uh, a lot of my stuff in the water because, well, cores float. Um, I have a lot of hard time trying to actually get underneath cores or build layers down and then I'm always trying to jump the thing out of a uh, out of uh, out of the ground. When I can, I like to build in the water. Because unless I build down deep enough that I'm actually hitting the bottom of the lake, which is quite a few blocks down, um, I can usually build quite nicely what I need to do. But my objective is going to be to build, uh, I want to attempt to build um, an A-10 Thunderbolt, or the uh, infamous Warthog. Uh, 
this one, of course, will have a little bit more than the standard warthog, in which case it will have um, an armor locker and cargo containers and a refrigerator and a warp drive. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be equipped with four rocket launchers and one Gatling gun. I can't. I've been trying to decide. I wanted to make that big giant main gun that it has, but I'm not sure if I wanted to just do this or put something else in. Uh, its primary thrusters will be uh, the five by twos, and it's going to have buried in the fuselage or in the wings, um, three left and right, one by three thrusters, two uh, braking thrusters, four downward thrust, small block downward thrusters, and six vertical thrust, upward thrusters. Um, Other than that, yeah, uh, going to have a couple of spotlight blocks on it just because I'd like spotlight blocks, three landing gears, um, that kind of thing. Now, I'm going to try and get it as close as I can, but right now I have a cat sleeping on my keyboard, and uh, I have to pause periodically to get it out and check drawings and schematics and such, so uh, probably just going to do is I'll build a little bit, I'll come back, and I'll, I'll place a few blocks, I'll come back, I'll take a snapshot, or I'll take a, a quick little flyover, and then I'll build some more. So you're not watching me sit here and try and figure out how to place blocks while running with the window open in the background and such. So don't go away kids, I will be right back after I move this giant 500 pound cat laying on my arm. Okay kids, I have done kind of a rough uh, outline, schematic, drawing, whatever you want to call it, uh, using full blocks. Of course these all have to be changed to angles and slopes and whatnot and whatnot and so forth. Uh, the biggest problem is this is actually a very small airplane. I tried doing it actually 100% uh, to scale using the small blocks as one meter blocks as they would be in game. But the airplane is half this size. Like, I didn't realize exactly just how small that A 10 really was until I started trying to build one. Uh, yeah it's a very small airplane. So I've doubled uh, doubled its size using the block placements here. Uh, basically took my numbers and every one block became half a meter and it's still very very small. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to work with this. <coughs> I suggest maybe if uh, somebody was going to build this later that what we would do is build it four times scale. Uh, so each block is equivalent to a quarter meter. Um, that might give you a little bit more build uh, size, I guess. Um, I'm not sure. You could use the American measurements and say every block is a foot, which you know, then in which case this is 50 some odd feet, you know, that kind of thing. And then it'd be substantially larger, but it's hard to say. I mean, building uh, actual aircraft in a game like this is very hard to do, uh, to do them to scale. So I'm going to pause again here and I'm going to attempt to figure out how to make the airframe and wings look decent. Um, knowing what I do about the A-10, it should be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll see. Um, the wings, uh, these wings might be, you know, these wings are pretty much scale as best as I can with the information I have. I still have to put the engines and such on, which is also going to be fun. So, uh, don't go away kids, I'll be back. 
shortly. Okay, we are back. We have done a little bit more building on the fuselage uh, part of the, the craft here. It still looks a little bit wonky, uh, I know, but that's the design of the plane. It actually, the plane looks like it was built backwards, um, which is kind of funny, but uh, I've built the wings. Now, the problem is, is they're very thin profile wing. Uh, the actual plane wings are very, very thin, and it's hard to do the proper ethereal on them without something going wrong. Uh, the tail feathers I have done, except I haven't done the side um, rudders yet, and I still have to attach the main thrusters, which are basically going right here, which will be the next uh, fun part. Um, I've hollowed out everything inside of it with the exception of where I placed the core originally. Uh, I still have to put all the guts and pieces and components in here as well as the weapons. So that's going to be the fun part next to come. And then I have to equip the weapons underneath the wings. The reason I wanted to keep it with a reasonably solid block is because I'm literally going to mount the uh, rockets wherever I can, wherever they are. Rockets. I know I had rain rockets. I probably left them in the box. Uh, I'm going to mount the rockets underneath the wings. There's two little um, pieces that hang down here that are kind of a uh, 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 sensor package part of the wing that I'm going to try to uh, copy. Um, but other than that, that's my raw fuselage. Um, so I'll pick it up again after I have figured out a little bit more stuff. So don't go away, kids. Be right back. Okay, kids, we are back. Uh, this is looking like a flying piece of crap. Nowhere near as nice as uh, an actual warthog looks like. But, hey, we're building with square blocks and triangles and trying to build something that is round. Uh, I ran into a problem. <laughs> You'll never believe this one. Um, well, it's backwards. <laughs> Somehow I put the core down and I built this entire thing in reverse. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do about this. I'm going to go see if there is something I can do. If I fly it with the uh, cockpit facing the right way, will it still fly? Will it still function? Will I be able to even try to fly it? I haven't put the thrusters on because they would normally go right here somewhere. Mm working on this all day and I'm starting to get grumpy. <laughs> uh, over the back wing and right back one square. They would go right there. <coughs> like that. Now, the cannon Apart from the fact that it's in reverse, it should sit. Uh, it's a little hard to place right now because, unfortunately, with building in water, you're always transitioning between water and ground. It should sit like that. And then the rocket pods. Uh, it's been a long day. My hands are no longer functioning with the rest of my body. Okay. The rocket pods should sit there and there. Make sure I got that right. That was one in and then three over. that. 
Now theoretically that is how it should sit. And yes, it doesn't look right and I still haven't built the tail feathers yet for it. Um, I'm running low on blocks actually of the stack that I had made up. I'm actually down to very few. But I'm very curious as to whether or not I can salvage this or if it is a complete pile of crap and I have to spend the next six hours and tear it all apart and rebuild it all from scratch. So, <clears throat> let's jump out of drone mode and let's see if we can salvage it. All right, there we go. P. Auto group, sure, why not? Main. Let's look at statistics. Uh, I'm hoping everything is backwards, right? Back front, three, five. Top down, four, five. Okay, left and right and top and down should be uh, correct. The two and the three are in reverse, which is going to severely mess me up. Maybe. Main. Manage. We're just going to throw a little bit of fuel in here. And then we're going to go view. And we're going to come up out of the water. Now, if I push forward... Oh, she went forward. Ah, very nice. Left, right, left. Oh, this could, this could work for us. This could work for us. It's not, I mean, it's very nimble. Uh, let's see if I can change view. I have no weapon or no ammunition in the weapons, but it's designed for strafing runs. And it turns very nicely. actually oversteers a little bit, but that's quite all right. I'm probably going to run out of fuel before I bring it in for a landing. Uh, so we're just going to fly over to the... Uh, it's not where I wanted to go. We're going to bring her over here. As I said, I still have to put uh, tail feathers on it, uh, a paint job, all those little things. But it seems to adapt to the fact that we'll turn that off and we will jump out of cockpit. Oops. And again, we'll push the wrong buttons. <laughs> So this will take some doing to get up and running. Let's turn on a headlight so we can see where we're going. Should grab these Akua berries on the way by. And I made myself a proper pistol because I got tired of having to shoot stuff with a tier one. I hear a spider. Do it, you can do it, run. The good thing is is they're not spitting spiders on planet uh Kua. You 
guys are pretty mild. Do not use the jetpack in the water. There we go. Swim for it, Mr. Frodo. Oh. <clears throat> So I want to do is I actually want to retire this. So I'm not probably going to not going to retire it completely, but uh, I want to stop utilizing this hover vessel. Oh come on! Are you kidding me? This is something that really, really irritates me about this game. Um, the hover vessel will fall into the water, sink and cannot get out of the water. It's not a hover vessel, it's a submarine. There we go. <laughs> There's always a trick. It's just sometimes you gotta play with it. Okay. Dude, or you're just trees. Sometimes I think some of these trees are regenerating. Alright, and view. I'll just power this down to power save mode. I'm using power save mode because I've still got food in the refrigerators and I don't want it to spoil, and I'm still using the constructor itself for some things. Um, but, actually, I'll take this biofuel, and you can hold on to that rotten Akua berry. And So now I've been at this actually all day, um, literally all all day, probably about four or five hours now. Uh, there's a reason I don't like doing build videos um, because they take a lot longer uh, than I would like, but that's okay. Um, now I tried to do this to scale as much as I can, and it was it's virtually impossible. Um, so, I mean, it's ugly, but, hey, the warthog is not exactly a pretty bird. So, I'm going to try to put on some tail feathers, and then I'm going to give it a paint job and some coloring. Um, I really wish they would invent a skin that you could use on these thrusters, that you could put a uh, skin over them. Um, because I can't put any armored blocks over top of it. Like, I can't put uh, these. Because Imperion or Elyon has deemed it necessary to not have the ability to merge thin blocks with uh, thin blocks. If they ever do that, you'll be able to, should be able to do is literally take these slopes and wrap this engine with it, you know. Um, I, unfortunately, I don't particularly care for the way it looks if I do it this way because it's huge, you know. And I don't know if there's a way I can fix that, but that's okay. I have to put a... Uh, uh, what do you call it, a ramp block here, and just to cover this, so it's just going to be a uh, 3 or a 22 degree ramp block. Um, what else has to go on this thing? Not really a lot. Uh, tail feathers and ramp block. I could not figure out how to do the tail on this thing, the, the actual rear end on this. I could not get to work, and there's a wing taper that you just, I can't do. 
uh, simply because of the way Imperion blocks do not work together. I mean, I, there are angles and slopes that this, this game is dastardly lacking. Um, so everything's kind of square and blocky, but that's how it is. I suppose I could go with light. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time over the next uh, little bit. I'm going to finish painting this up. And next episode, I am going to attack, believe it or not, I'm actually going to attack these comm centers, uh, wherever they are. Comm center, comm, comm center, comm center. There it is. These comm centers. Uh, there's three of them. That's what killed me last time. Is not the one, not the mission one, but actually the two that are still over here that I haven't unlocked or haven't uh, flown over yet. So I'm going to do those, and then for Wednesday, uh, for Wednesday I'm going to do the um, weekly mission, or probably Wednesday or Thursday I'm going to get the weekly mission done, and then um, we'll see if we can get back on track with things here. Um, so thanks for watching, kids, and uh, see you in the next episode. Good night for now.